Hey guys, this is an HP DeskJet 2132 printer that we're going to be taking apart today. I'm going to show you how to get inside of the printer. It's very easy. Um, if you need to clean it up or uh, check out what's stuck in there, it's fairly simple. All you need is a um, T10 star-shaped screwdriver tip. Uh, all HP printers have that screw on them. Either la laser jet or any inkjet will have it. Um, so this is the printer. It's 2132. There's also a 2130 and a lot of different variations of 2100 jets that are very similar. Um, and I was trying to show you the tip here. It is a star-shaped. Um, I'm not sure if I can see if I can zoom it in, but anyway, it's a star-shaped tip that we always use. T as in Tom, 10 is the size of it. So what we'll need to do is, uh, first I'm gonna show you how to get into the printer. There's four screws that we need to remove. There's two over here under this. And then uh, after that, I'll show you how to remove the trays. It's very simple. You don't need to remove any screws for that. So there's a couple of screws. There's one here and one on this side. So here we see it. One here and one there. And also, we're going to see two screws under here on the bottom side. So in order to have access to that, we're going to remove this output tray. And to do so, put it on its side so I could show it to you. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver for that. And on this side, I'm just going to put a screwdriver in there. And we're going to push it down so it comes out out of the slot here. So push the screwdriver here and push the, push the tray down. So we want to do our best not to damage. There we go. So putting it back in is going to be probably easier because you just slide it back into that slot. Um, so we removed the output tray, and now we have screws on this side. There's two right there, one here and one there. So those are the four that we're going to remove. Try to remove the screws as you go so it doesn't drop into inside of the printer and cause you problems later. So we remove the two screws here. Now we're going to do the same here. So it's under this flap. Okay. And now we have access to the printer. Uh, we can just use this to lift it up and be very careful there are some uh, there's a scanner and the control board that are connected and on this side it's clipped in so you may need um, a flathead screwdriver like this and just lift it up there we go so that's lifted so be careful because there's as you can see, there's a wiring right there that you need to be careful with. So if you want to remove this part so you can get to the inside of the printer, you can just disconnect it. Here we go. And this cord, the two that let this top portion off. On this bottom side, we have the control panel uh, board. It needs tinier. Like not T10 is going to need a smaller star-shaped tip to remove that or replace it. And then to get inside to replace the scanner lamp, it's this unit here. Or if you just want to check what's wrong, if, it, if it's not moving or if there's no light coming on. There's a few. Um, on this one, actually, I don't see any screws. I think it's just clipped with these side. Usually there are screws, though. But on this one, there's just clips. You just open it up. And you can open the inside of the printer. 
and get in to replace the scanner. That's on this one. Usually there's screws. So now you can see absolutely the inside of your printer. So if you're having a paper jam, for example, or any other issue, you can see there could be a problem here. There could be a paper somewhere in the middle. There could be something out of place or some object that flew in there. Especially uh, having the rear um, loading tray. Um, it gives you an access to clean the rollers over here if paper is not being picked up. You can have, if you're having a paper jam error or any error that you're confused about, this is the best way to go. Open it up, see what's wrong in here. This strip, this tiny um, encoder strip, it needs to be clean. If there is a mark on it, you can look at it. Um, and if it's clear, it's in good condition. For example, if the carriage unit is going back and forth, hitting walls and not and giving you errors, check for that. There could be a mark of ink on there or grease. Then um, if there's some error comes up that scanner is not working, you need to check to make sure this is connected when you put the scanner back. Make sure you connect it correct way. Um, so that's basically kind of how you go in and take care of the problems. I'm going to continue and show you how to remove the rest of the stuff. It's pretty simple. It's now open and you can see where, it every, where everything goes. The rear tray, you can just push it in the middle, push it to one side and pull one side out and you have the output tray out. Um, now I'm going to remove the formatter board or the logic board. There's a whole bunch of names for it. Some people call it the motherboard, just printer board. Um, is this piece that we're talking about. Okay. There's three screws that hold that board down. And I have already disconnected almost everything. There's one more. There we go. This is the control board for this printer. It's actually very nice how everything is made in here. To replace the timing strip, what you'll need to do is just go in here and pull the strip to the right and then just unlatch it right there. And then when you put it back in, you have to make sure you put it in the correct slot. Um, you'll be able... You'll actually be able to see it right here, where it goes in. Um, so it's supposed to be inside of this. Here, let me put some light in there. inside of the sensor right here you can see so if your carriage is moving back and forth uh, without control that could be the problem um, so just make sure you put the timing strip back the way it's supposed to go and when you install one uh, it's supposed to be arrow up on the right side so you remove it, it just goes out like this, and you slide it out. That's our timing strip right there. I haven't replaced this pickup roller, but I assume it's very simple. Let's try doing that. Okay, so there's a screw right there on one side of the pickup roller that we will remove and see if we can just remove this piece and replace it. That's in case you need to replace this pickup roller. Um, go in here. I'm not sure if it releases it. it. Doesn't seem like it. But it's a bit complicated in here, so I'm just not going to mess with it. Um, what I do recommend is if it's if your paper is not being picked up just clean those rollers right here And you don't even have to actually Remove the top you can do it from this side. You can have access from the back um, And if you want to just go in and look at your printer or clean it up remove extra ink gunk 
uh, you can always remove the top like you saw it's only held by four uh, uh, four screws and you can have this is a very clean printer because this is actually I believe it was never used or maybe used a couple times um, but yeah it's it's pretty clean in here um, so a very good small all-in-one um, hope you guys are doing very well during this COVID-19 um, isolation and stay at home order and um, if the time has passed great um, and I uh, hope you're doing very well please like this video subscribe to our channel and share it with other people um, and hopefully this helps you if it does please comment in the area below and have a wonderful day thank you